if you see the last races, we fight the car constantly. All the time we're like, like yeah. on X, you know, just mm -hmm. moving a lot because it's a lot of power. As I said, it's heavy uh, and it makes it very hard for us to drive drivers. But also then the driver makes the difference also, which is course. quite cool. Do you have gears? No, that, no that's, gear. that's weird. The first time I jumped into a Formula E car, I was like... No gears at all, not even no simulating. Gear, no, well, nothing. yeah, sorry. You have neutral and then first. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you're asking, you're asking, you're asking, that's, that's the gear. Um, so you have neutral first and reverse, that's it. Uh, but no, that's so weird. The first time I went up the, of the box in the, in the old Formula E, I went out on the first corner, I was like... You know, you hear how the am I engine, gonna stop? Uh, yeah, <laughs> how am I going to stop? Do I need to downshift? It's just so weird because all your career, all your career, you're used to upshift and downshift. But here is like, it's like, um, I don't know. It's just yeah, like, in the other series, you use a lot of uh, like a yeah, go engine engine braking. It's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, not the most important, it. but yeah. But you use it a lot. Yeah, downshift. you use it. Yeah. Uh, but without that, but, but you have engine braking. Yeah, we like, do. Like we do cards. and we can change, like we can change how much engine braking we want. You know, we have... That you need to re-educate yourself to... It's a whole... Honestly, it's like everything I've learned in the past is kind of... I, I Of course, I took a lot of things like all the side of like how to work with professional engineer and all of that. But the side of like how to drive the car itself... You have to learn it from... Yeah, it's kind of you start from scratch because it's so different to everything I've experienced before. Um, but something called Formula 8, like you can change everything you want on the, on the steering, for example. The car does whatever, something that you don't like in one corner and you can change it just for that specific corner, I want the car to do this and that, which, which is quite cool. Like you adapt the whole car to what, how you want it. And it's, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And also like uh, for, I, I don't watch a lot of Formula E, but for what I watched already, like they do like some kind of game, like- Ah, the attack mode, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the attack mode. At least in the screen, we see the- the loops, the like loops, the, the yeah, yeah you, exactly. you go through. It looks like, you get like Mario a turbo. Car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the video games, man. Like. You take the bananas and you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> could drop the banana. So, <laughs> so you have like a like a certain number of times you can go through that thing, right? Yes. Or? So basically, in in this year at least, you have four minutes. So you you need to take it twice. Mm -hmm. So basically, you have the option of doing the first time you take it three minutes, and the second time one minute, or two minutes and two minutes, or you can choose how many times, but it's four minutes maximum. Okay. Uh, uh, you have four minutes of kind of boost, boost during the race. Exactly, mm. okay. but we ne you need to take twice the loops. So you cannot do four minutes in one. Okay, so you at need least two of two minutes. Yeah, for example, most of the races at the moment, everyone has been doing two minutes, the first loop, and two minutes the, re the second time. Mm -hmm. um, and at the moment, the tracks we've been racing with on, like it doesn't make a huge difference having that extra power. Because you cannot overtake. It was difficult to overtake, for example, in Cape Town when I raced in South Africa. Uh, but now if you go, like this weekend, actually, it's, I think it's going to be the first weekend where that attack mode, they call it, is going to really make a difference because there's a lot of straight lines. The mm -hmm. track here in, in, in Sao Paulo is a lot of straight line. So that extra power will change a lot the, the strategy of things. So, for example, now we, we, well, we're racing with 300 kilowatts. And when you, you take the attack mode, it's 350 kilowatts, which is quite a lot more power. Yeah. And this previous races, we were kind of trying to just take it, to take it out of the way. So it's done because, of course, you lose time. For example, here in Sao Paulo, I think it's one second and a half to take it. So you lose one second and a half when you take it. But now it's going to make ah, a difference. Ah, one second and a half of of of, of the loss. Uh, oh, loss. Okay. Because you for you to because you have to get off the of the racing the line. racing so line. Basically, yeah. now we have it in turn three. And you need to go really far away to take the loop, uh -huh. uh, and you can miss it also. Sometimes you miss it, and then you yeah, miss if it you miss again. it for like one centimeter, you, you don't get it. I lost, I missed it at some point in a race, and yeah, well, you just lose a second for yeah. nothing, and then yeah, people might think one second is nothing, but for us, it's, no, it's, well, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Um, so it's quite cool, um, but of course, then it has some negative things. So if, of course, it's going to overheat your tires. Uh, depending on the track, sometimes having that extra power is good for the straight line only. Mm -hmm. But then when you go on corners, you don't want to have that extra power because it overheats your tires. So it's not the best thing. So it's, it's kind of another strategy that goes into play. 